Hello everyone, welcome to Liberable. Yeah, you don't know what to say. <laughs> gentlemen, how are you all doing ladies and gentlemen? There is a very small percentage of ladies actually watching my videos. Hit that thumbs up button, I really appreciate it. And I'm so glad to see you guys are enjoying these vlog style contents. I was supposed to shoot the intro, but um, I was lazy. So let's roll that intro. Mercedes dropped off the CLS 400D and goodness sake guys, this thing is a beast, like I mean, properly is a beast. Here's one more thing guys, look at this interior, it's got a Burmeister sound system and, oh, and the performance 250 kilowatt and almost six, actually 650 Newton meters of torque. Guys, you can control this left screen over here, right? With this button, if I push the home button, it takes me there, I can see my media, navigation, or I can control it through the scroll wheel here. And this screen here, I can change the design. So if I want maybe a dual analog dial, I can click to, I can go to, um, look at that. I actually like that one, that's quite nice. Oh, I can do the progressive. Look at that. Goodness sake. The other thing with this car is the ridiculous performance. I cannot explain to you guys. Like, I wish I can show you now. Let me see if there's a spot here, right? So I'm going to take a turn, right? I'm doing see the speed limit's 120, right? I'm just, I'm doing 60 kilometers per hour, right? Check this out. Oh, holy moly. The straight six diesel engine is the best I've felt in the business, guys. Like, this engine is brutal. I'd love to see, like, a couple car strides luck with this thing, eh? Right, we're going to do a foot flat to the floor. Wow. Effortless. Oh, back into comfort. That is. Oh. A lot of you were expecting a full feature on this car. That's kind of not possible. Mr. Lau, Africa, how are you doing? Mr. Kashif Nolan, the 2K series K24 drivers here in Cape Town, SA. Um, a lot of you guys know Lau. I talk a lot about him in my videos, but more specifically in Kashif, the, um, the Kilani MSA videos and also some of the robot racing videos because these are the two guys actually kind of, and along with uh, Sean Zurich, who's kind of pioneered some of the K24 builds and also bigger builds in that in South Africa and with Lyle and Kashi starting from scratch with their cars. I remember this car was stock K20 and then you went point, point, learned and progressed forward. Yeah. What's kind of the big pros for you going K-Series? What, what's the big advantage? Um, well, because at the time, um, P-Series was available. Um, there was parts available and so on um, and then we noticed now lately um, they're becoming scarce so I figured okay maybe just take the plunge take the sacrifice with um, saving up and selling whatever I had left to get into the, the K-series world and I think till today I, I don't ever regret it actually because it's amazing it's an amazing engine yeah I, I, I think it's kind of almost like a plug and play system what you put in you get out is exactly. kind of a K-series bus I think Kashi will know he pushed quite long with B-Series, I was with him, I think from his beginning stages we really tried to break numbers and crunch numbers down on B-Series and it was quite difficult, I remember there was days where you didn't at all accomplish where you wanted to be with that yeah. engine. Look, it uh, takes a lot of uh, thinking, mm. 
because the capacity of DC is not that power power wise you struggle mm -hmm. and the capacity also being a two liter you're already pushing the, mm -hmm. the limits of the, of, yeah. the, of the engine so yeah. it takes a lot of brain work and thinking when it mm -hmm. comes to the body itself mm -hmm. what you can do you can shed you can't shed too much also mm -hmm. because then you have traction issues exactly the stability issues clear exactly. there, so. and also the engine is starting to show its age now i'm starting to see like i think let's be honest gentlemen um bc these times are starting to be become kind of all equilibrium out no yeah. one's really breaking the 11 10 yeah. second barrier like see it takes a lot of uh, commitment if you want to do that with a b series mm -hmm. you basically have to go all in yeah. and of course so you have to sacrifice a lot mm. it takes a lot more money actually to to yeah. be able to be like more or less on par with the, with the K series engine. Exactly. So uh, you actually end up spending more money. And with the K series here, that's a lot more broader. So the amount of flow you can put through it is way better than what the B series head can flow. I mean, yeah. the amount of, like you saying, the amount of money you need to flow a, a B's head in order to do what a K series can do is, I mean, it's going to be ridiculous. One more thing, guys. So this specific car, car along with Kashi's car, It's impossible to drive these cars on the road. So what Lau and I agreed upon, and with Kashif as well, I'm going to be throwing the runs in at Saldana happening the day before. So this is being filmed today is Tuesday. I'm going to Saldana on Sunday, and they're both running over there. And this video is going up Monday. So yesterday, basically for you, I was at Saldana, and I'll be throwing all the runs here. Now, some other things I want to ask you is. Like you built this car from A to B to Z, basically. You've been in the process of it. Is it really an expensive endeavor? What K? Um, like people say it is. Yeah, it's definitely expensive. Well, one reason being that most of the parts, like I would say, 90% of the parts will have to be imported mm. from the states and the UK, all over the world. So, yeah, with regards to uh, resources, yeah, like here locally. Mm. There's only a handful of, of guys that actually have stock, so so yeah, your basically all the money you spend in for the build is um, for import and then tax and duties and oh, stuff. Wow. So in, like in most yeah. cases as well, shipping costs more than the actual parts. Yeah, in, so yep. we just unfortunate that we down here third world country. Yeah. So basically, I can bring you a Honda Civic, Honda Ballard, and say, Lau, I want a K swap. I wanted to do 13 seconds quarter mile or 12 seconds quarter mile. Yeah. What's that going to cost me? And you can basically build that car up for me. Yeah, like I tell everyone, because I get a lot of questions now. Um, Obviously, with okay. the swaps and stuff. So I basically, well, it's basically I would say to be honest with you, it's like roughly a hundred thousand to do a conversion, irrespective of the chassis. Obviously, if you get lucky, maybe you happen to come across, maybe let's say a, a wrecked FN2. Then at least you score there with the engine, the box, the shafts, and all those things. But I mean, if let's say you don't have anything, mm -hmm. you only have the shell, you would obviously have to buy your engine, your gearbox. Mm -hmm. um, you'll need, or well, depending on what ECU you're gonna use, I always recommend on that. That's think the best. That's like yeah. the best um, for for its for its value right now. Um, you can get better ECUs, but they obviously cost a lot more than than on that. And, um, and I think also, um, if if I may ask you, what is your Current setup in this car, it's, I think it's a bit similar to Kashi's. Minor the cams. Well, our, our setups are basically almost identical, mm. apart from when we, if we get like into detail, like with, with the parts in the yeah. engine. My cams is like slightly more aggressive than Kashi's, and my compression is a bit higher than Kashi's. But like all around, everything is almost straightforward. It's all yeah. like um, off the shelf parts. So. Yeah. I mean, anyone can build this exact same setup like mine and like Kashi's. Of um, course. So that's at least like the perk. So, mm. um, like when I do advertise like a K swap, if you want like a race setup like mm. this, like what I have, you can also do it. It's mm. not like I'm now because I'm the yeah. the Mac. I'll have the fastest one. Yeah. Like yeah. I can build you a faster car than what I have. Yeah. But basically, like with Kashi has. Yeah. Um, yeah, but Kashi has a lot of money, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, so you see Kashi mild the setup because this is his first case swap so yeah. he wanted something that he could possibly drive on the street if he wanted to yeah. so you can drive it on yeah. pump fuel you can use you can switch over to alcohol if you want a little more power yes of engine. course of course and I mean we we've now gone gone to a point now where we actually um, we tune both cars on methanol and what these like stable compression ratio is making almost the exact same power I'm making what you making a current um, I well this setup now I'm making around 
take 250 kilowatts. Yes, and you tune yourself. Yeah. You physical with on data. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not an easy program it's to mess easy. with. Um, no. Also, with, like, with us Capetonians, we don't really have much uh, um, like uh, support with yeah. regards to on data. So there's a handful of guys and um, or most of them, or I, I'd say a handful of guys actually were generous enough to yeah. um, um, give some info regarding the ECU and how to tune it and so on. So I've learned like some basics here and there from a couple of close friends. Exactly. And then from what I had, yeah. I obviously now try to expand my knowledge with regards yeah. to the ECU. So yeah. Um, yeah, we came this far. I tune, I tune literally every car bolt I tune myself yes. and car shifts as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I think um, let's also be quite frank now. Um, a lot of you guys have been noticing a lot of the videos I've been doing on the channel. And yes, I'm very well aware of the VVL, ABF things going around. But um, I'm merely here to state kind of the obvious and we kind of starting to see now that guys don't really want to put their money into an engine they no longer trust because some of the quickest VVLs in SA, I mean, are nowhere near the times these guys are running. I mean, I don't know what money they're putting in their cars. And here's another thing, when, when I do ask guys questions like, okay, so your specific goal for something ran this time, what did that cost? They kind of always just ruffle around the edges. So <laughs> I know it's not cheap. So you guys can make the argument in the comments and go, yeah, well, Al, you spent 200, 800,000 Rand in your car. The thing is, guys, it's freaking money that's yeah. doing the times. These cars, they just, you just ran a freaking 11. Okay, dude, from what I could hear at the end of that line, like the car was kind of got a lot in it, a lot more in it, especially your 60 foot. Yeah. And you see, what, what no one also realizes is that Lau, we forgot to tell you that, yeah. is that he's running a stock. K24 cylinder. Yeah, so, yes. so he's basically. Not even flowed yet. Yeah, I'm actually down on power. He's now. down on power. Oh. So he's running a K24 cylinder mm. on this car. Like that was basically my, one room. of my heads laying here. Yeah. Yeah. And we took it, put it on his car, yeah. standard port, yeah. only has valve turned in, and he's getting oh. yeah. And the car is doing the numbers. So yeah. basically, he can build your K24 that get to yeah. low levels. Yeah, definitely. So if you yeah. like, with, with my build, we basically thought, okay, K20 EP3 cylinder, which everybody knows, okay, it's the best, like, yeah. one of the best, best. Yeah. thing it's for... A2, no? Correct? Yeah, K20 A2, A2 yeah. And then, uh, but we actually didn't realize the K24 yet, maybe with the right comp, mm. can push can it. Work? Yeah. Yeah. So, and he has his, his K24, or his K20 A2 cylinder, mm. So we're just gonna see how far we can go with this. Yeah, and we, we might slap at one we see, see the initial plan was to um, obviously see what we have at the moment, mm. put it together, see what we can produce out of the engine, and then ride like ride it out, see yeah, how far learn and, and develop. Yeah. I think and you know what, guys. The, the key here is I have a lot of respect for guys' balls. I think Lal, um, Kashif, Saud. You know, these are the guys that's kind of defined the space that I'm growing up in. I think Saud being eleven point. I think it's the fastest SR20 V. Guys, it's like I'm no, to take nothing away from me. That three core, that's a lot of respect. It's a lot of hard work and effort. Same with Kashif. I've seen the shit that he's been through with his B series. Lao as well. He even hurt one of his engines at Kilani. Yeah. So this is a lot of effort and time for the sport. It, it can be frustrating, but it can be a lot of fun because now mm -hmm. Lao's inbox is lit to a I want the bold, I want the yeah. bold because he's proven the numbers and he's proven the times and he's proven with this freaking beautiful thing in front of me <laughs> that these guys know what they're doing. So Lau, thank you so much. Yeah. I appreciate your time. Kashif again, bro. always a pleasure. I'm here at Kashif's in uh, Nolan's in um, Salt Woodstock. River, Woodstock. Um, Lau's actually often here working on some of the cars as well, being him being the one who also helped Kashif out. Um, Nadir as well, Nadir Summers, I call him Nadir Winters. But, um, <laughs>
400D. You've been absolutely amazing. I've no idea what they're sending tonight. Just arrived at the airport. <laughs> it's very early and I'm really tired. But get you in Johannesburg. I'm here at Jaguar Land Rover Experience. Guys, I'm getting to drive some really intense cars. Most of the SVR range I'm getting to drive today. And a couple of really, really fast cars. So a lot of you have been asking for Jaguar Land Rover. I'm finally excited that we finally get to do this. Um, they've got like a cutaway uh, Jaguar over here. They've got the 300 Sport. This I think is a limited one. But check this cutaway. You can actually see the diesel injectors here. And you can see also the little pocket pistons. It's just a typical, you know, Jaguar Land Rover experience, so it's a very premium setup. Go, build down, accelerate, flat, go. In, come, then slow down, good, look through the band, look through the band, accelerate gradually, keep on building up, nice. That speed is fine, it's fine for these tight bands, good. So you see, once you look through the bend, you know where you're going and it helps you. Reason you say look through the bend, your eyes and your hands will help you point the car to the right direction. Of course, of course. See? This is good. There we go. Squeeze that power now. Squeeze power, power, power. Oh, power. Oh, yes. Magic. Magic. So, thank you. Nicely done. <laughs> I see that the foot even got in there for the second attempt to get yeah. it to keep yeah. it going. <laughs> Okay. And so we're going to go in here at about 20, 20 kilometers an hour. I'll say to you, squeeze the power on initially. Mm. Squeeze it on, hold the power, hold the power, hold the power until the car breaks away. Okay. As that happens, you're going to keep looking at that blues and off the power. Okay. And we'll, cool. see how, we'll see how it goes for this first one. Let's go for it. I think so. There we go. So this speed's good. Keep it just like that. There we go. A little bit more. Squeeze it on. There we go. And squeeze the power, squeeze the power. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Off the power. Yes, man. How's that, eh? Koi. Awesome. <laughs> cool, we'll go stop out those, those black and white cones again. <laughs> Nicely done. So, we're going to convert to the track now, and then obviously I'll be doing GoPro runs for all of you. And you guys will see... Oh, yeah, someone, there's someone coming to the window for my license, which I didn't prepare. Hey okay, guys, just arrived at the track. Going to be driving now. Pretty excited for this. It's been uh, quite a while. I wanted to do some things over here, and I finally get to experience what Jaguar slash Land Rover is all about and just really excited to be honest with you I still can't believe that like all of this is happening um, that lady over there that's climbing out of the car and this guy over here huge thank you to this to these two super awesome but um yeah talk soon let's just get behind the wheel of, some, of a car cool, well, okay guys so cool so well, this is the car that we're going in now it's an SVR F type and we're going to see what this car is about. This one has the carbon ceramic brakes, as you can see. So that is really awesome. So, yeah. Very fast. <laughs> this is very fast. How much kilowatt is this, if I may This is 423 kilowatt, 700 newton meters of torque. Oh. Oh, dear me. All from a supercharged 5 liter V8. Wow. Squeeze the throttle lock, looking all the way through. So remember your throttle application, nice and progressive. Yeah. There we go, Ooh. much better. Keep it to the right hand side. Moving over to the left here, a little bit of throttle for me, and squeeze it on, go for it. There we go, much, much better. Over to the left hand side. On the brakes, this much braking is absolutely perfect. Rolling off the brakes, a little bit of throttle for me. And squeeze the throttle on now, squeeze it on, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. There we go. Back over to the right hand side, stay on the brakes. Oh. And squeeze the throttle on, go for it. 
How is this even? <laughs> uh, my eyes are steering. <laughs> Good, looking up the hill. A little bit of throttle for me. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And squeeze it on, go for it. There we go, looking up the hill, aiming at the tree. And then on the brakes before the crest, keeping to the right hand side. Look at the whole turn here on the left. Good, turn it in. A little bit of throttle for me. Start to squeeze the throttle on. That's perfect. Keep it going. A little bit more for me. A little bit more. A little bit more. And flat out. Awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. Back onto the brakes. Settle the car. So then a little bit of throttle. There we go. Fantastic. Back onto the brakes. You'll feel as you touch the throttle through the mud that, shaft. That it settles, settles the, the car again there. Turning it in. And throttle on. Off we go. Good stuff. Back onto the brakes here. Good. Coming off. Squeezing it on. Onto the brakes. A little bit harder for me. Turning it in. And then we're going to go flat out up until the bridge and okay. then just come off the throttle. Holy moly! So at the bridge, we're going to lift. There we go. We're just going to oh. run all the way through. <laughs> this thing is demonic. Yeah. This thing is demonic. The sound. Like, the racket coming out of the back is, is <laughs> orgasmic. <laughs> Yo, check you on, huh? Okay, squeeze it on. Let's get going. There we go. Look at the whole section of turns up ahead of us, staying on the throttle. Like that, absolutely perfect. Back onto the brakes, a nice late entry here, turning it in, and squeeze the throttle on at the exit, go for it. I'm scared, uh, this turn is the one that freaks me out the most. This, this, like that, come off the brakes, little bit of throttle, now a little bit more, and go for it. Go, 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 open the wheel. There we go, back onto the brakes. That turns all about the entry. Dude, this thing is a... And go for it again. Fantastic. Over to the right hand side. Back onto the brakes. From here, we're going to take it nice and easy. Of course. And let it cool off. Holy moly. So just keep it rolling. So about 80 k's an hour. Awesome. So. Could this be one of the best cars I've driven all year? Dude, I'm like tears in my eyes. <laughs> Holy moly. So very, very special. Dude! Sorry, but I'm... <laughs> I've driven like M5, M2. Yeah. Um, Just keep it going. Oh, sorry, like yeah. GTRs, like... Modified cars. I'm freaking crying. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's got so much emotion. Yeah. And drama and... And it's fast. <laughs> and the grip levels the, are so the, immense. The sound. Yeah. Dude! Uh, what does this call cost? Uh, 2.4. What's this called? No to 100? 3.7. That's underrated. It's, yeah. it's definitely faster. <laughs> I have my drag here. We can check. <laughs> I, this is way faster than that claim number. Guys. Yo, we'll talk about it when we get back to Cape Town. I'm a bit shook now. I need to like settle in and figure out if what I just felt was like just, just a, a holiday romance. But anyway. <laughs> Guys, just hear what this thing sound like. Yes! No, that's fine. Over this line, we're in the track, so let's give it some beads. Here we go. So, 405 kilowatts. Oh. Okay, I know this is a beast. In that V8 ground, eh? Yeah. Okay, so there you have your turning point. Remember, let's position the car nice and early. Get it right Oh, okay. Over. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So this will just reduce the radius of the turn. In we go. A little bit of power to stabilize the car. Remember, the four-wheel drive in here will help the car through corners. As long as we're gentle with the power. So exactly. squeeze, squeeze, a little bit more. That's it. And use the space here to line, line it up. Off the brakes, get it turned. A little bit of power. And more, more, more. There we go. Once the straight, I like it. Ooh. 
the accelerator can stabilize the car. Oh yeah. That's, that's what we're looking for. So onto the brakes, a little bit more gently off the brakes now. So wait for the power. Get the car turned, a little bit of power. There, stabilize more, 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 more. Out of the corner we go. I like it. Straight line brakes, nice and harder. This is a slower turn. That's it. Oh, so gently off. Squeeze onto the power. Use the space. That's it. Okay, onto the brakes. So remember with the S, we're going to just compromise this bit. Of Get course. it on here. Yeah, that power is good. Keep that. More. Now more. Get the car turned now. Let's go. Let's go. Straight and straight. You feel that bit of understeer? Mm -hmm. And braking. Cool. I like it. How are they making these things so fast? Bit of power. That's a little bit more. Middle of the road and then tighten the turn again. That's good, that's fine. That'll work. Go, 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 go. So the braking at the bottom of the mine shaft here, very gentle. Okay. So onto the brakes. Come off the brakes and get a turn. Turn. Look, 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 look. A little bit too hot there. <laughs> wow, guys, I'm <laughs> I'm gobsmacked by these these large cars. They, I, <laughs> how is is technology come to this point now where something this big handles the way yeah. this does? I literally just landed. <laughs> Yo, guys, I had such a headache, like. Pounding, pounding headache. Took panados, had some water, had some other odds and ends, and I feel pretty good now. Coming to fetch um, the car or my car that they left me. I have no idea what it is. So I'll have to see. Hello. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm good and yourself? Lovely. Um, Mia's Isaacs. Mr. Isaacs. Okay, but at least it's here. It's a Honda. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You can sign out. And here's your water. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's Thank you. Deeply, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay, she sorted me out. The top of a Honda. Which Honda? I don't know. Oh, that's the new Civic. Very interesting. Let's put myself in the boot. Goodness me, it's not a very pretty car. <laughs> Don't tell Honda I said so. <laughs> they probably not gonna watch this video. <laughs> if they do, I'm in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Interior is very nice though. Ah, where's the unlock button? Oh! Oh! Don't want to dent that go. Oh! Yo! Thank goodness, guys. So, I think I'm going to end this video here. Yeah? I just want to give you guys all such a big thank you for watching this video and getting this far. That's nice. And I see the change this as well. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you longer here with this video. Heated seats on. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe, guys. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by next year, June. I would really appreciate it. And I hope you enjoyed the Jaguars. I definitely did it was freaking astonishing but we'll talk more about it in the next video so yeah be free for you liberable out